From the studios of WBONTV.com, here's what's happening. Kentucky State Police recently arrested a Lexington man who they observed traveling at approximately 96 miles per hour in a 70 mile per hour zone on I-75. The vehicle was stopped while traveling through Richmond and according to the arrest citation, the driver told police he was speeding because his girlfriend had experienced a seizure and he was attempting to get her to the hospital. The driver was identified as Anthony Tincher, and he seemed under the influence, according to police. EMS officials were called to the scene to assist, and they decided that Tincher was allegedly under the influence of a narcotic. Further read of the citation indicates that upon testing for sobriety, Tincher allegedly admitted to using opioids. Tincher was taken to the Madison County Detention Center and charged with speeding, careless driving, operating on a suspended or revoked driver's license, and operating a motor vehicle under the influence of alcohol or drugs. Habitat for Humanity of Madison County will be dedicating a new build house to a local family with the help of the county's first responders. This dedication will take place on November 19th from 4.30 to 5.30 p.m. Members of the community, volunteers, friends, and sponsors are encouraged to appear at the event at 311 Edwards Avenue when the keys are finally given to the family. A Clark County grand jury has indicted 54-year-old Philip Todd Wilson, the former principal at Clark County Vocational School, on child pornography charges. The grand jury handed out the indictment last week for 11 counts of possessing child porn and 6 counts of promoting sexual performance by a minor. Wilson was arrested in August after someone told a school resource officer they had received around 15 images from him. An indictment indicates there is enough evidence to proceed with a trial. However, it is not proof of guilt. And the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet says they've worked overnight and will remain on duty, treating routes as necessary after the light snow. KYTC gives out a reminder that Kentucky is a quick clearance law, which means if you're involved in a crash, if no one's injured, move your vehicle to the shoulder off the interstate or parkway, call the police, and exchange information with the other party. And if your vehicle is disabled, they ask that you move it off the roadway if possible, turn on your emergency flashers, And if you need aid, tie something white or bright to your antenna or raise the hood. And another reminder, to avoid carbon monoxide poisoning if trapped in snow, keep the exhaust pipe clear. Run your vehicle with the windows partially open and use the heat for 10 minutes every hour. For more stories such as these, be sure to visit Richmond's very own WBONTV.com. I'm Marissa Hempel.